Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 113 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. Thank you for the support in the last episode. That video performed really well, which is actually kind of surprising to me, but I do genuinely appreciate it. So when you guys watch those videos, it makes me very happy because it's like, hey, people actually enjoyed this, and I enjoy making those videos. So it's a win-win. So thank you all very much. Now let's get into today's questions, though, starting with EK Starlord. And he says, ASA, what is your favorite song from SpongeBob? My Mine is Sweet Victory. Sweet Victory is definitely a good one, but I think I'm going to have to go with the Goofy Goober theme song from the Spongebob movie. Like, that song is just fantastic. Oh, I'm a Goofy Goober, yeah. You're a Goofy Goober, yeah. We're all Goofy Goobers, yeah. Goofy Goober, 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 yeah. Another song that I do genuinely enjoy is the Striped Sweater song. I sing and hum that song to myself all the time because it's just a short little jingle and I love it. The best time to wear a striped sweater is all the time. Next question is from Plorpis ASA. Have you ever tried potato pizza? So I'm starting to feel like a fraud here because every time I get one of these potato questions, I say, no, I haven't tried it. I'm supposed to be like the potato person who's like, oh, I love potatoes. Potatoes are cool. You know, all that stuff. But then I get these questions and it's like, um, no, I haven't. I haven't ever tried potato pizza and not gonna lie. It doesn't actually look very good to me. It kind of looks like if you just baked some chips on a pizza. So like I'm I'm picturing that they'd be kind of crunchy, but like, you know, pizza's kind of like doughy, so it'd be like crunchy and doughy. Like, that doesn't sound good to me, but maybe in terms of taste, it would be. I'm not a good cook, so I'm not gonna go try to cook any of this stuff ever. But if I ever go to like a restaurant or a party or something, and it's like, oh, hey, we have potato pizza, then I'll try some. I'm down to trying it, but I'm not gonna try to make it. Next question is from CT Bricks. If you could only pick one of the Stormtrooper variations, which would you pick? Scout Trooper, Def Trooper, etc., and a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. To be completely honest with you, I do genuinely just enjoy the default regular Stormtrooper, but that's kind of not a fun answer. So I think I'm going to go with Shock Troopers just because the Imperial Shock Trooper is just cool. Like the red, like who doesn't like red? Like that just, that's nice. It's basically just a Stormtrooper, but slap some red on them, you know, call them Shock Troopers. They're just cool. So I'm going with that one. You pull some levels. And then the last four questions are going to be from EK Starlord. ASA, what is your thoughts on the new Indiana Jones Xbox exclusive video game? To be completely honest with you, I'm not really too hyped for that. Maybe someday I'll try it, or better yet, once some more trailers and stuff drop, maybe then I'll give it a try. I do like Indiana Jones, but I'm not like a crazy super fan over Indiana Jones. Don't tell Scott Davis I said that. I'm sure the game will be fun, and I'll probably get it, especially if it's on Game Pass, but right now i'm just kind of like meh i haven't even watched the trailer next question asa would you like to see a clone wars continuation show that is part of an alternate timeline where anakin never fell to the dark side and order 66 failed would you watch it pretty much anything with the title star wars i'll watch because i'm like hey it's star wars so i'll, I'll give it a try but i don't really know if i would like something like that it would basically be like if star wars did the marvel what if series and so i would definitely watch it but I honestly don't think that would be a good idea and I don't think that's something I would be interested in now of course there's been rumors lately that we're going to get a Star Wars what if maybe it'll be cooler than I think but right now I'm kind of like I just don't really think that's something I would care for Squidward. Next question, ASA, what is your thoughts on Mandalorian and Grogu getting their own movie? I am excited for the idea of a Star Wars movie in theaters. Again, you know, it's been a while, but I just, I don't know if I'm too hyped for that because I loved season one of The Mandalorian. I loved season two. Season three was okay. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. And so I'm like, I'm not necessarily falling like out of love with these characters, but I'm just kind of bored with them in a, in a way. And so I'm like, oh, a movie. Okay, I'm sure it'll be good and I'll definitely go see it. Hopefully once some trailers drop and stuff, I'll be more hyped. And the last question, ASA, would you watch an entire Star Wars animated show created around the entire expanded universe? To be honest, like I said earlier with the other things I said, slap Star Wars on it and I'll watch it. I would watch it, but I don't know if it would be any good. I love animation just in general. Star Wars and animation, two of my favorite things, you know, combined, it's wonderful. So I'm like, an animated show would be cool. Anything animated from Star Wars is always welcomed in my book. But I don't really like the 
expanded universe, to be completely honest with you. Like, I don't know a lot about it because I tend not to care. But like some little things I know is like Luke has a wife. I'm like, that's kind of dumb to me. So like that would be probably in the show. I just, I don't think I would like that. So kind of like what I said with that other show earlier, if they made it, I would watch it. But right now, I don't think I would care and I wouldn't ask for it. I don't know if that was a good or lame answer, but there we go. And so that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for your support. I appreciate each and every one of you. I want to conduct a little experiment right now here. So apparently, and this has been going on for like three months now, if you say hit that like button, or maybe it's smash that like button, apparently it lights up. And then if you say smash that subscribe button, it lights up. So I'm genuinely curious if it lights up on some people's devices. Apparently it only does it sometimes and doesn't do it for other people. So if it lit up, let me know. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.